take the railway that runs to Birmingham town. Three hours out to Houston, they let you all get down. Eleven minutes is allowed, we have to keep up speed. And the Wolverton refreshment room will answer every need. Hi everyone. Right, sorry, I've had to keep the com the airline off because it's it's buzzing in the background on the the camera is very sensitive with the mic uh, on this particular camera so it's picking up sounds from even from outside the door it picks up sounds sometimes so I've had to turn it off so excuse me for the bit of hard breathing I'll try not I'll try to keep it short I've got a review of a uh, scale model product uh, item this is a very, very, very rare kit. Even so, I only paid £20 for it. I can get a commercial version of this, but... Let's put it this way. This kit can be built in three ways. The commercial one is only built in one way. That's, that's all you can do. You can't, you can't buy anything else. And it's the wrong orientation for my layout, which is Newport Pagnell. Um, there's a very complicated piece on there, and I need this to complete it. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the review of Scaleways three-way point. Okay, quite excited. I got a parcel this morning. I've been waiting for this for years. <laughs> the item they, they do several items on this particular one and uh, the other items are quite readily available on occasions on eBay however this point uh, kit from uh, scale model products it's a three-way point. These come up... <laughs> oh, this is the first one I've seen in eight years. Let's put it that way. Uh, and I do... I am desperately need it. I've been trying to work out with uh, the single normal points. Try to work out how to get this done. And it, it's, it's just eluded me. Uh, three-way points. This one, you can get commercially. It's a straight through the centre, left and right turn-offs. No trouble at all with that. But what I need is this one. A right-hand turn-off of all both, both parts and the top one is a straight through line. This is from the Newport Pagnell line. Uh, it comes with all the pieces you need to build the uh, point up. Unfortunately, the track I've got here is not code 100. This is fine scale. I only, only code 100, so I'll get some mail. That's easy enough. Uh, fle uh, one flexible track should do it, I think. Uh, yeah, one, one piece of flexible track will do it, and I've got that. So I'll be using that rail. Uh, uh, the other bits and pieces in here. This I usually have to make up myself. If I if I made one up on my own, I would have to try and make this up. It's a piece of uh, PC board. Uh, it's got a piece of brass on it or copper, which is the contact, which actually runs in a couple of wires here, which are sprung loaded. And it makes an electrical contact between the frogs. This frog A and frog B. And frog A is, is it that one? Yeah, frog A is there. Frog B is there. Uh, frog C is there. Um, it, it does work somehow. I know. I don't know how this works. Unless this one, it can't be live all the time because it'll be coming down here. Frog A, 
plug A, plug B, plug A, plug B, plug C, plug C is the one, sorry, I'll make a little mistake there, um, no, plug C, plug A is common, common, I think I see now these two are linked to the B one here. Well, that's that up track there. It's so complicated that I need to plan to do it. <coughs> and of course, you've got instructions here on exactly how to uh, <coughs> make up the point as well. So everything's here and uh, gives you a good explanation on two sheets. Uh, so. Own two sheets. I've <laughs> got <laughs> okay. I've given us a copy. I've got two copies of the same sheet in here, uh, but it was sealed. It's, it's as it comes from the shop. Uh, obviously, they the two sheets were stacked together when they packaged this kit. So, uh, like I said, I've got to put code 100 on it. I've also got to lift the sleepers up again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, because by the time they go onto the wooden sleepers of the normal Pico track, these these are much too thin to work on them. So I have to put an extra layer of uh, underlay underneath those to bring them up level with the uh, Pico track. So that's it there. But here's a good thing: I've got the plans. I can build this as many as I like. Now. Um, that is one good thing about this, these tracks, you can build them up. If you take a photocopy of this, you can lay this down to make your track plan up on your, on your layout. And once you've done that, then uh, you can build the whole complicated uh, point system even to one of the major junctions in London, which has got hundreds of points travelling across each other there. Um, because this one, even this one, is a simple uh, branch line. But, here's a, here's a picture of the track plan that I need to do. As you can see, we've got the three-way point in here, like this. We've got one track coming down here coming off down to Coles, we've got the platform side of the line here and we've got the turnaround track coming in here. There's your three point systems but we do actually need another point system on here. Uh, let me see, see if I can do it on this diagram for you. Uh, it's a bit complicated. That one goes straight down, that one goes to the station. Actually I'll have to bend that round a bit. There. That one goes down to Coles for this bit here. Now we've got another track here that goes into a railway shed. So we need to cross the Coles line with a diamond crossover. The one that goes into the station will need another point there. So it can come out the station and into the engine shed or the Coles stage which is up on this line as well. I could put a bit of track in there. Just to designate that there is a line there. Now that is basically the, the very complicated point system for a simple branch line. As you can see, without the three-way point, it would take up all oh, three times as much space as this. Because you would have to have a point here coming off into coals. Another point coming in from into the platform side. <coughs> Then you have the diamond crossing here, another point here, and that track going down there. So you see, it's very complicated, and it would be very, very long on the layout. So to save space, you could use a three-way point. What they did was, they actually used a three-way point on the real branch line. And uh, this is the closest approximation I can get to it. So I'm very glad to get a hold of it. Uh, if I can, I'll... I'll do uh, a video 
of how to build one of these because they're very interesting and they're quite cheap I should say this that is why they haven't lasted themselves um, cut up the uh, copper clad for the sleepers easy enough done the rails you use stock rails from Pico because they do the rails on their own uh, the only bits that are a bit complicated are these pieces here which is where the wires and each, po each point is connected here as well so that it can switch the uh, rails around but they're, they're not that complicated uh, a few swipes across a piece of uh, copper clad here with the right cuts in the places and then solder the rails to the copper clad can do the job uh, so that's it but wiring up all the frogs that is a problem um, if you can find, if you can if you can buy one which you can, I know you can buy a three way point like I said you get a right and left hand turn off and the centre one's straight if you can get one of those which are expensive they are very expensive you can get the wiring diagram for that and use that on these if you need to but as we got the instructions and the plans for them I can build as many as I want and the same way this is we can build a point miss out the centre section one and just build a very long point coming off here or, or even a tight tight point here like this one leave this one off here and we can build that one point as well and we've got left right and we we have the Y point miss out the centre one go through here and we've got the Y section point that's why these didn't last because it was so easy once they got one they could build as many as they like uh, unfortunately <laughs> but that was the way of things uh, so I mean once they got the left hand points so they, they bought like about maybe three points you've got a small point large radius point uh, and a four foot radius point once you've got those you've got the right and left hand points and a Y point in the kit so there wasn't need to, to do anything once they bought the, the three they could keep building them forever and ever and ever which is a bit stupid really but that's that's the way things turned out uh, so I'm gonna say thanks for watching this little review as soon as I can get a video out of this I will um, I've just got to work out on the board <laughs> how it actually needs to go uh, I'm gonna it's gonna be at the end of one of the boards here anyway somewhere maybe a bit further out from the point end you know uh, give it a little bit of a run up to the point here and then about halfway down the platform it's going to be split for uh, for another board section going on from there but I should be able to get this all on one board thinking about it uh, eight, six, uh, uh, get each board a meter long so yeah I'll get all this point work done on one board all this points coming off here to the to the station and coals and that will come off on one board for all the point work then the other boards just take up the single tracks that needs to be done so uh, until next time for me and Carla hope I'm bored you See you all soon. Keep up the modelling. Bye for now. Take the railway that runs to Birmingham town. Three hours out of Houston, they let you all get down. Eleven minutes is allowed, we have to keep up speed. And the Wolverton refreshment room will answer every need.